Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. Our lead story tonight is about the economy, the global economy. It faces three major challenges and another cold war could mean losses worth trillions of dollars. We'll tell you what the projection and the analysis is. Meanwhile, in Europe, Viktor Orban pulled off a stunt. He's the leader of Hungary, blocking more aid to Ukraine and its EU membership. He is holding Brussels hostage and walking away with billions. We'll bring you all the drama. Also discussing the decline of Hong Kong. From one of the top financial hubs of the world to the only major market in the red, how China's policies are killing Hong Kong. Is Britain bankrolling Russia's war? Energy giant Gazprom is making millions from British territory, leading to an uproar in London. Can the US have a Hindu president? Vivek Ramaswamy was asked this question. His answer is winning him praises. We'll tell you what he said. In Africa, former French colonies are changing the French language. We'll tell you how. In India, the debate over menstrual leave after a question was raised in Parliament. We'll bring you all of these stories and more. The headlines first. Shocking video from Ukraine. A councillor detonates grenades during a meet, injuring more than 25 people. It is not clear yet how many grenades were detonated or what was the motive for the attack. More than 100 people injured in Rush Hour Metro collision in Beijing. Preliminary investigation blames the accident on slippery tracks caused by snowstorms. Initially, 500 people were sent to hospital, many of whom were later discharged. Yemen's Houthi rebels strike a cargo ship in the Red Sea. It's the latest such attack in the commercially vital waterway. The Houthis, backed by Iran, have been targeting ships to pressure Israel to agree to a ceasefire in Gaza. Rodrigo Duterte denies making death threats. The former president of the Philippines says he never threatened to kill a congresswoman. He asks prosecutors to not file criminal charges against him. Duterte was president from 2016 to 2022. During that time, he often threatened to kill drug dealers and activists. And it's a tale of two jerseys. Six shirts worn by Lionel Messi sell for $7.8 million. The second most valuable jerseys ever auctioned. Messi wore them during Argentina's World Cup campaign last year. In India, the BCCI retires MS Dhoni's number seven jersey. <laughs> 